everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to unroot your Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 Wi-Fi only. So the process to this, you're gonna need some files, you're gonna need your tab obviously, as well as your connector cable that you can connect to your PC. So that's what you're gonna need. First of all, what I'm gonna have you do is go ahead and go to your computer desktop and just make a folder on your desktop called tab unroot. It's just gonna make everything easier having everything in the same spot. So tab unroot, then click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to the AC Syndicate website right here, as you can see. Big, big thanks and shout out to ACS's Sock Monkey. Big thanks to him for putting this guide together as well as the download links. So what you're gonna need to do is scroll down and keep scrolling down until we get to the downloads. This will give you um, instructions and pictures if you like written instructions. Keep scrolling down and then you got a bunch of download links right here. So to uh, get everything you need to go back to stock, you're gonna need to download a few things. First, you're gonna need the tab recovery zip. Click on it, download it. You're also gonna need uh, this right here, HC 3.2 zip file right there. So you're gonna need that as well. You're also gonna need the Odin zip. So three zip files you're gonna need to download. Once all three of those are downloaded, it's gonna look like this, these three in a row. Tab recovery, Samsung Galaxy. Oh, you're not gonna see that middle one, sorry. It's tab recoveries, you're gonna need Odin as well as this zip file of the ROM itself right there. So let's go to my downloads folder, open it on up. You're gonna need a zip program to open these up, such as 7-Zip, WinRAR, uh, those two are the ones I recommend. I have 7-Zip at the moment, I've tried WinRAR, I like them both, so whichever one you prefer. So you have the Odin zip right there, and you have the tab recovery zip right there, as well as the HC 3.2 zip right there. So those three, now what I'm gonna have you do is go ahead and plug your tab into your PC. So plug it on in, um, and then it should come up. Don't have USB debugging enabled because we're gonna need to transfer a file over. So plug it on in, go back to your PC, and bottom right here, you should see that right there. What you're gonna need to do is just right click on the HC 3.2 TouchWiz uh, UX right there, whoops, sorry. Right click on it and hit copy. So right click, hit copy, and then go to your tab, double click on the tablet, and then paste it to the root of the tablet, which would mean right there, right after you double click on tablet. Right click and hit paste. So paste it on in there, I already have it in there, as you can see. It's right there, so I already have the zip file there, so I'm ready to go. Now what I can do is go ahead and go back to my tablet and unplug it because I have the zip file on there. And then we can go ahead and power off our tablet. So power it on down. I am rooted in a clockwork mod. As you can see, I have super user right there and I do have clockwork mod recovery, so I'm gonna power it on off. Now, once that's powering down, we're gonna need to go back to our PC, go back to our downloads folder. So open that downloads folder back up and let's go to our zip files. So first, let's extract Odin zip. So let's go ahead and double click on the Odin zip. It'll open it on up and inside you have Odin and the uh, configuration file. Just click and drag both of those into your tab on root folder. So you got both of those in there. Uh, extracted into there, then hit back, and then go to your tab recovery zip, and you're just gonna need the stock retail tar MD5. So that's the stock recovery to overwrite clockwork mod, and extract that to your tab on root folder as well. So there you have it. Once those are all done, once all three of those are in there, you can open up that folder. As you can see, you got Odin, as well as the stock recovery, and that's it. So we're ready to go now. Uh, first of all, what we're gonna need to do is go back to our tablet. So go back to your Galaxy Tab, and we're gonna need to go into Clockwork Mod Recovery, your custom recovery. To do so, press and hold the volume down and power button at the same time until the Samsung screen pops up. So press and hold both of those, and then let go of the power button once Samsung Galaxy Tab, but keep the volume down, 
button held down. So here we go, it takes us into this screen. So what we're gonna need to do is basically press uh, the volume down button once more to highlight between the two. You can go back and forth between download mode and recovery. Then press volume up to select it. And then what that's gonna do is boot into your clockwork mod recovery. So it should boot into it. You might have a newer version. I have the older version of Clockwork Mod Recovery, as you can see. So you might have a newer version, but here's what we're gonna need to do. So I'm going to recommend doing a data wipe before flashing this. What we're gonna need to do is install the custom ROM, the, not custom, install the stock ROM back to your tablet so you'll be completely back to stock 3.2 Honeycomb on your device, and then you can install the the stock recovery to overwrite clockwork mod and then you'll be back to stock. So what you're gonna need to do is, as I said, recommend wipe data factory reset. Hit yes, you can try it without it, but you might run into problems. So as I said, everything's gonna wipe. So make sure you back anything up that you need, any type of data apps, etc. Make sure everything is backed up. So data wipe is complete. Now what you're gonna need to do is, I'm gonna recommend going to wipe cache partition, select it with the power button, and then hit yes, wipe cache. And so it's gonna go ahead and wipe your cache partition. And once that's done, go to the advanced menu in Clockwork Mod, select it, and hit wipe Dalvik cache. And then hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache. So that'll wipe, and then we are ready to go. Hit go back, so go back, and then install zip from SD card, select it. Choose zip from SD card, select that. And then find that stock ROM that you have on there. So go ahead and install that HC 3.2 TouchWiz UX full tab 10.1 zip and hit yes. So as I said, this will flash the stock ROM on your device. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this install. It will take a little while, so be patient with it and I'll be back once it's done. Okay, as you can see, install from SD card complete. The ROM install is done. The stock ROM install is done. So now we're gonna need to reboot our device. So hit go back and then select Reboot System Now. So it's gonna go ahead and reboot your tab, and I'll be back once it reboots. It will take longer to reboot since it is coming from a clean install, a clean data wipe. So be patient with the first boot up. It is gonna take a little bit longer than usual, and I'll be back once it's done. All right, as you can see, my tablet has just booted back up, takes you to the welcome screen. I'm just gonna power it right back on down. You can do the exact same, just power it on off. No need to run through. Actually. Go ahead and run through the startup screen. I wouldn't recommend, I'm gonna skip through all the setups. You can set everything up if you so choose because it's no more data is gonna be wiped. So you can set it up if you want. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna recommend going through the setup process before turning your tablet back off again, just to ensure I'm, I'm, not, I'm not changing anything. So here we go, now I booted back up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and recommend powering off your uh, your tablet, so I'm gonna power it on down, and then while that's powering down, we can actually go back to our PC, and we're gonna need to go into your tab and root folder again that we have on our desktop, and we're gonna need to open up Odin. So right click on it, and hit run as administrator. If you don't have that option, just double click on it, and then hit yes. So go ahead and hit yes, and here we go. So now it opens up Odin, I would assume since you guys have rooted, you are familiar with Odin, but here's what we're gonna need to do. First, all it's, it's quite easy actually. Go ahead and go to the PDA box on the right side of Odin, press it, and then it should, and then navigate to your tab on root folder. So it should open it up, but if it doesn't, go to your desktop, then go to the tab on root folder, and inside, you should see that stock retail tar MD5 file. You might not see .md5 at the end, but just stock retail tar. Double click on that. And that should be should check the PDA box, and it should be in your PDA box. So once that's there, you're actually almost ready to go. You'll see check boxes right here on the left side. Uncheck F reset time. So you don't want to force reset time. You only want auto reboot checked right there. And that's it. You're ready to go almost. <laughs> so we can go back to our tab. And we're going to need to boot into download mode. Same way that we can get into stock recovery, the volume down and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of those until the Samsung screen pops up. Let go of the power button once it does. Keep the volume down button held down. So let go of the power button. And then there you go. So now you have your two options again. This time we're going to need to select the download mode. So remember, volume down to go back and forth, and then volume up to select it, the right one. So select it download mode. And then it says warning, uh, press volume up again, the right one. 
And here we go. So downloading, do not turn off target. So now we are in download mode. This is the mode you always get into uh, if you're going back to stock, etc., or even rooting, flashing anything through Odin, you always go into download mode. If you are in download mode and you wanna reboot, you can't pull your battery, obviously, so to do that, you press and hold volume down and power button for like 10 to 15 seconds and it should reboot your device. But now that you're in download mode, go ahead and plug in your tablet into your PC. So plug it on in, and then in Odin, you should see a yellow box pop up, and it should say COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is, but it just should say COM and be a yellow box. Double check, make sure only auto reboots checked, as well as the stock retail tar is in the PDA box, and we're ready to go. It shouldn't take long, just hit start in Odin. So go ahead and hit start. It'll let you know what it's doing in the bottom left, and then you should see a progress bar both on your tablet. Well, obviously it went so fast I didn't get to show you, but there's a progress bar, and it should automatically reboot your tablet as well as a pass screen within Odin. So as you can see, it took six seconds to install through Odin. It says pass and now I can go back to my tablet and it'll just reboot. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this reboot. Once it reboots, obviously we're already already on the stock ROM, so we're not rooted anymore, but now we don't have Clockwork Mod because we flashed the stock recovery overriding Clockwork Mod. So I'm gonna let this reboot. Once it does reboot, I'm just gonna power it right back on down and show you guys I have stock recovery. All right, as I said, it went ahead and powered on. I powered it right back on off, so now I'm gonna go back into the stock recovery. Same method as I said earlier, power volume down, let go of the power button once the Samsung screen pops up. Keep volume down, held, and then it should take me to this screen. I'm gonna press volume down once more to get over to recovery, press volume up to select it, and then it should take me into stock Android recovery, which it did, as you can see. So now I'm in stock Android recovery. As you can see, Android system recovery 3E up there and I'm not rooted, and I don't have Clockwork Mod anymore. So that's it. So I'm ready to go. I'm completely unrooted for whatever reason you need to be unrooted, and that's it. So I'm gonna hit reboot system, and I can go back to enjoying my stock Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 Wi-Fi only. If you have any questions at all, run into any problems, feel free to ask, leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to hear, happy to help you guys out. Be sure to subscribe to me. I'll be doing many more videos on the Galaxy Tab. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below, and thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.